morning good morning good morning i'm just listening to this song it was so it was so on time on this morning with what i want to share on this morning so as you become begin to come in i just want you to just just think of what you're grateful for what you're grateful for because things could be a whole lot worse so as you begin to come in if you can just take just a moment share this video invite somebody else to come in because I'm telling you this little nugget that I want to share on this morning I pray that it it changes your perspective on how you view things and how God is going to take you take you to your next amen amen i am i am pastor deidre samuel mcleod i am the founder and the awesome pastor of an amazing group of people called divine destiny ministries and and it is such a great pleasure to meet with you to talk with you early on this morning i know that we normally do it a little bit later but early on this morning to be able to share share a little nugget with you share a word with you um on this morning I, I was just thinking about about being grateful and and thinking about what to share to share with you on this morning and 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 I know right now that a lot of people that um, that's all everybody is talking about right now the coronavirus everywhere you go everybody is talking about it every time you turn on the TV um, everywhere you go um, anything on the radio coronavirus but on this morning, I just want you just to not focus on because everybody everybody can talk about the bad things, the um, how many people died, how many people are sick, how many people that were affected by it. But I, I want you to just take a moment and just think to yourself, what did this, what did this do to to make you to have a heart? to prostrate your heart with with nothing but praise what has this this pandemic caused you to 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 reconnect with with families to reconnect with your friends to reconnect with things that 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 means and value the most what has this pandemic has has caused you to to make what's on the inside of you leap again to live again what has it done for you and and if you don't know the answers to this that that is it possible that the pandemic that God has allowed this pandemic really to show up has you allowed this moment to for you to miss it that I believe that God allowed everything everything under the sun to happen for a reason everything nothing happens nothing happens without a reason that God does everything strategically he does not do things just to say I'm just doing something he does something always for a reason and as for me I can't speak for nobody else as for me that this this pandemic has been life-changing for me it has it has awakening so many things up on the inside of me to make me realize that 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 I have a purpose and that I needed to fulfill the purpose and the true call that's on my life that that I was so busy and, and sometimes we think that busyness make us effective but sometimes we're busy and we're busy doing stuff and it has no real impact it has no real it has no real need we just doing something just to say we doing something and but this this pandemic has made me realize that certain things don't matter that that certain things does not matter anymore this pandemic has made me realize that that I'm behind time on doing certain things that this pandemic has made me realize that 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 that, that some people have made me mad and rightfully so they have done some things but I had to free myself from them because I realized that 
that we talk about life is a vapor. We talk about that, that life is just but for a moment. But it has really made me realize that life is just but for a moment. That we holding on to stuff that don't even matter. And, and this pandemic has taught me, has literally taught me to shake the dust off my feet and move on. I'm in a I'm in a I'm in an awesome season right now of my life that I told on this past Sunday that Exodus means a mass a mass departure. God is causing this pandemic to make us leave. Uh, not just me, but everybody that's tied and connected to me. I'm not just looking to win. I'm looking for my family to win. I'm looking for my friends to win. I'm, I'm looking for everybody that's under the sound of my voice, that's connected to me to win this thing. That that I realized, uh, me and one of my members was just talking about how many, how so many people are tapping, it, tapping into their gifts. And everybody now is popping up. Everybody's selling something. Everybody is doing something. But but you know that it made you tap into the real gift that's on the inside of you because sometimes sometimes we've been so busy working a job we've been so busy being tied to people we've been so busy tied to ministries that's not even birthing life on the inside of us it's not making us tap into the gift and the true call that's on the inside of us but this pandemic has wakened some things up in me to realize that that time is of the essence I'm not walking in fear of the coronavirus. No, I'm not. I'm walking in fear of wondering, God, have, have I failed you? God, have I done what you asked me to do? God has, 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 has I, I, I took advantage of every opportunity that you have given me to speak into somebody's life, to, to pour into somebody, everything that you placed on the inside of me. Have I done what you asked me to do? Have I, have I mishandled the gifts? Have I mishandled my calling? Has I mishandled, have mishandled the anointingness on my life? No, that uh, coronavirus ain't what I fear. I fear the fact that if I close my eyes right now, have I failed God? Have I mishandled the thing that God has spoken over my life? That's what I fear. But right now on this morning, I woke up. I woke up with a peace. I woke up with a peace just telling God, thank you. Thank you. God, I'm grateful. I'm grateful, God, because you could have cut me off. You could have cut me off a long time ago. I could have died in the midst of my mess. I could have died in the midst of my sins. But God, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that that so many people, so many people right now, they don't know which way to turn. But God reminded me of a word on this morning. And it says, and, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, he was preserved. I want to tell you on this morning that if you're loyal, we got to check our loyalness. If you're loyal to somebody, a lawyer to something, and it can lead you out of a place of captivity, and it's not allowing you to walk in a place of preservance, I'm telling you right now, you're tied and you're connected to the wrong people. You're tied and you're connected to the wrong stuff. And oftentimes we're more connected to a building. We're more connected to we're more connected to our 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 families, our family um church, our family, our family um traditions and the church traditions, and we're missing the move of God. That that through this out of out of this dry place out of this out of this low place that God is God is speaking and he's using his prophets to lead you out of a place of captivity to lead you I'm telling you right now if you're truly called and connected to somebody that 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 really is hearing from God 
that's really connected to God. And I'm not just talking about somebody that just get up and just and just telling you the same thing over and over again and um and 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 just being repetitive about ain't he all right or or um I I need to know that God is all right. What is God is saying in this moment? What is God saying in this season? Because I already know that God is all right. I already know that God is good. I already know that weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. But what is God speaking for my life? What is God speaking for my family? What is God speaking for my business? What is God speaking over my marriage? What is God speaking over my finances? How am I going to come out of Egypt? Because Egypt is just not a place. Egypt sometimes is a mindset. And we're stuck in an Egypt mentality. And we're missing the thing that God has spoken over our lives because we're stuck and we're connected to a tradition. And we're not stuck to a real man or a real woman of God that's going to lead us out of this place of destitute in order for us to get to the real place that God has called us forth to be. And I'm telling you right now that God showed me, he showed me something on this past week and I shared it with my woman of God. And I said that, and I said that I, I, I understood some, but I didn't understand all. And I said, and God hasn't revealed it all to me. And she said to me, you don't understand how powerful this dream was that God revealed to you. She said that the enemy that you see today, the season that you're in right now, you will never encounter it again. You will never see it again. And I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, when God revealed that to me on the other day, I said, wow, God is leading us. And I'm telling you, you got to be guided by God. You got to be guided by your man of God. You got to be guided by your woman of God. God is right now blessing in the midst of a pandemic. You can't lead. You can't run out of panic. You can't run out of fear. You got to run by instruction and guidance and by the man and the woman of God that God has set over your house to lead you how to get up out of this. And I'm telling you right now, God is speaking. God is speaking, but are you listening? Because if you are listening, I'm telling you right now, there's some things that you will never encounter again. There's some seasons that you will never walk through and have to endure again because God is going to bring you out of this. He's going to bring you out of this. And by a prophet, by a prophet, by a prophet that the Lord brought, brought Israel out of Egypt. Israel was God's people. He was his chosen people. And I'm telling you, yes, Aurelia, you had a similar dream. God always confirms himself that in the midst of all of this, God is blessing. I have I have never been so blessed and I'm not just talking about financially. I have never been so blessed in my entire life to to experience the power of God like how I've been experiencing God lately. How I've been have been watching him move. Yes, some people say that you would change your outlook about it if it hit your family. If it hits your household, if it if it hits your friends, well, coronavirus has has hit my family. But I tell you what, but because of the power of God, the power of God that rests on on the on the lives of so many people in my family, nobody died. Nobody died. And nobody suffered the way that the enemy desired for, for them to suffer. Let me tell you something. When God's hand is on your life, no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. Lead, lead, lead your family. Lead yourself in prayer. Govern yourself accordingly to what your man and your woman of God, that the prophet that, that God has allowed to sit over your house, to sit over your family, to sit over your soul, and watch how God leads you out. This is my first day back to work. My first day. And I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the time off. I'm grateful for the time spent with him. I'm grateful for everything that God has poured on the inside of me. I'm grateful that I needed this. I needed, I needed this. I was running myself ragged, being busy, 
but not productive. And I have never been so productive before. And to God had to sit us down for a while, sit me down and make me realize certain things don't even matter. So I pray that, that you have found your same place with God, that you sat and you listened to him and that you, that you allowed yourself to be, to be guided by him and you will see the real blessings of God fall upon your life. I pray that this word has been a blessing to you. Share this word with somebody, tag somebody in it, and let them know that God is still able. Don't panic in a pandemic. Be grateful for the things that God has, has poured in you and on you throughout this entire process. I pray that you all have an awesome and wonderful day. I'm sure that I will talk with you later. I will see you later because, yes, we have a Bible study tonight. If you're looking for a place to go, if you're looking for a place um, for somebody to pray for you, cover you, I'm telling you, Divine Destiny Ministries is the place to be, a place that you can be different to make a difference. We are right now at the Hampton Inn, 203 East Carolina Avenue, right here in the great city of Hartsville. God is doing something. God is doing something amazing. He's do, doing something amazing. Join us. If you're not able to physically join us, join us Join us live tonight at 6 p.m. I'll talk with you and I'll see you soon. Share this video with somebody. I pray that it bless you.